One of the questions I get emailed to me on a regular basis is, Dan, how much is my vintage camera worth? People find Polaroid cameras all over the place, in attics and basements and flea markets. And often people find these things and they're thinking, oh man, Polaroid cameras are so popular these days. I bet this old camera is worth tons. Well, while I would prefer that people would pick up old cameras to shoot with, a lot of people are just interested in selling. Unfortunately, most Polaroid cameras are not actually worth that much money. There are some specific models that are, and we'll get into that shortly, but most of them are just worth, you know, tens of dollars rather than hundreds of dollars. Now in this video, we're only gonna talk about Polaroid cameras, but Kodak did try to make their own instant film camera line, and you can still find those cameras out there. Those cameras are totally worthless. Polaroid sued the pants off of Kodak years ago, and Kodak was actually forced to stop selling their camera line and stop making film. So no film has been made for those cameras in a really long time. Also, Fuji Instax makes cameras, and those are a lot newer, so you're not really gonna find those a whole lot, and there really aren't any super valuable, rare, uh, old Fuji Instax cameras. Now, some of you may have heard that Polaroid stopped making film years ago, and that's technically true. Back in 2008, Polaroid shut down all instant film production, basically rendering millions of cameras useless. A group called The Impossible Project actually bought an old Polaroid film factory before it was decommissioned, and they started making their own Polaroid film soon after. They've been working on their formulas and new, making new types of film ever since, and then in 2017, they recently rebranded from The Impossible Project to Polaroid Originals. Polaroid Originals makes their own cameras, they make new types of film, and they also make films for all kinds of old Polaroid cameras. There's really only one kind of camera that's worth any kind of money at all, and that is the folding SLR series of Polaroid cameras. These were originally designed by Edwin Land himself, and they were made with no compromises whatsoever. They were super expensive back in the 70s when they were first kind of making their debut, and they still are expensive today because they're just excellent photographic instruments, and they're just way better to use than any other kind of Polaroid camera out there. They're also beautiful cameras. They started out with just the SX-70. Um, there's Model 1, this is a Model 2, and there's all different kinds of bodies. Um, this one's made out of plastic. The nicest ones are made out of metal. Um, then they added on, over the years, the sonar piece to the front of the SX-70. This is SX-70 sonar. Um, all these cameras are SLRs, which means you actually look through the lens to see your image and compose. And they also fold flat into like this little pancake shape. And this is my personal favorite camera. It's one of the most valuable out there and it still costs a fortune to buy. Um, this is the SX SLR 680 camera. Um, it uses 600 film instead of SX70 film. And these cameras are all worth a lot of money. They're worth a lot to photographers who still use them uh, to this day. There really is no replacement camera out there uh, that does, the, does its job as good as the folding SLR series. Unfortunately, the vast majority of cameras out there are not folding SLR type cameras. Most Polaroid cameras that were sold, millions and millions of them are all what's called box type cameras. And they're just basically that. They're just cheap plastic boxes. They did the job well, they did the job cheaply, but they're not really worth much because there's a lot of them and there's not really anything that makes them special. You'll see things like, this is the Polaroid close-up one step, perfectly confident camera, um, not really worth much if you find one. Might be able to get a few bucks for it off of eBay. Um, Polaroid Impulse AF, this is the camera I grew up with. I love it. It's not really worth that much. It's a little nicer than some other cameras. Um, and there's just all kinds of box types, every shape and size. All box type cameras are range finders, which means that you're not actually looking through the lens you're shooting with, and it's a much cheaper design. It's, so one thing to keep in mind when you're you know, looking at an old Polaroid camera is that the camera itself doesn't have a battery in it. So most likely when you pick up the camera, it doesn't, it's gonna seem like it's not doing anything, that it might not work. Polaroid cameras are actually powered by their film cartridge. So you need a fresh film cartridge to tell whether or not a camera works or not. So a lot of times when people are selling on eBay, the buyer doesn't really know whether or not that camera works. You, you know, the person might say they've tested it, but you know, if you're selling a $20 camera, it's not really realistic to buy a $20 pack of film to test it out. So a lot of times you have to be careful about that. And that's also one of the reasons why outside of more exotic, valuable cameras, box type cameras, just 
don't really go for a lot because there's some risk involved for the buyer. You might get a dud, it might work for a few shots, then die. Uh, these cameras are all getting old. There are some of them are decades old, so you just never know. Now among box type cameras, there are some that are more of collector's items rather than photographic instruments that you might be able to get a little bit more for. Uh, for example, the uh, iconic white rainbow stripe camera. Uh, this is something that looks great on a shelf um, and people might pay more for it. I mean, really when it comes down to it, things are only worth as much as people are willing to pay for them. And someone might be willing to pay a lot for this camera. Um, as far as actually shooting with this camera goes, it's okay. So far, we've only really talked about modern Polaroid camera types, uh, 600, SX70, Spectra. These are all cameras that there were millions of, they were made for the past few decades, um, and they're probably what you're gonna run into most. But Polaroid did make cameras before these cameras uh, that were called peel apart cameras. This is an example of one, this is the Polaroid 340. Um, this is the peel apart camera. Unfortunately, these cameras had batteries that had to be replaced, so um, up until recently, you could actually buy film still for these cameras and they made great images, but they took, these cameras took them to TLC to actually prepare and get shooting. Um, so many of them really weren't worth that much money at the time anyways. And now that there's no film really for them, Polar original, Polaroid Originals doesn't make any film. Um, Fuji Instax used to, or not Fuji Instax, Fuji Film used to, but they've stopped making it. And, uh, some companies have started up to try to make their own kinds of film and they haven't been successful. So for all intents and purposes, these cameras are kind of totally worthless. Now, some of you are watching us like, all right, Dan, so you're telling me that these cameras are essentially worthless, but then how come I turn around and I look at Polaroid Originals and they're selling, you know, box type cameras for hundreds of dollars? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it sort of does. The Impossible Project, now Polaroid Originals, refurbishes the cameras and guarantees that they're going to work for at least a year. Now, people are willing to pay for that peace of mind because if you buy a used camera off of a flea market directly from someone on eBay, you really don't know if the camera is going to work or not. I mean, you can test it when you get it and return it or try to fight about it, but you're kind of in uncertain waters. Now, for cheap cameras like box types, I usually just buy a bunch of them for cheap off eBay, and if one dies, it's no big deal. But when it comes to, you know, the more expensive type cameras, I've actually bought it directly from Polaroid Originals, because I just want to know that if I'm investing a few hundred dollars into a really nice camera, that it's going to stay and work for a long time. So if you have a folding SLR, you might have a shot at making a little bit of money with the camera you found, but most likely, it's just going to be worth a few bucks, and it's up to you whether or not you want to sell it. The best way of figuring out how much anything is worth is just looking it up on eBay, seeing how much it's going for recently, and that'll give you a pretty good idea of what people are willing to pay for that item. Um, this video might be completely outdated in a few months when people start buying up one kind of camera like crazy. Um, so you can always find out what the most recent information is just by you know, doing some quick searches on Google and eBay.